Hey guys, Antonio Zilli here. Today we are reviewing the Jurassic World Battle Damage Ultimate Baryonyx Breakout. Why do all the names have to be so long? Before we take the set out, I just want to quickly say that the presentation of this figure and this whole set in general is awesome. I love how it's a closed-in box with the plastic and everything, and it's, 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 ugh, what am I trying to say? It's really good looking. I really love how they did the closed-in box style. I'm noticing that most of this stuff is actually recycled, but anyways, it's fine. So you got the standard Jurassic World logo right there, and then you got this really cool image of Rexy with the Jurassic World logo, and another cool image of the T-Rex. It's kind of exclusive to the battle damage line. That's pretty cool. And then over here, it's, it says the title of the set, Ultimate Baryonyx Breakouts. And then it's the battle damage logo and a little window that shows how the Baryonyx works. Which, by the way, is a repaint of the Roar of Our Baryonyx from last year. You could check that review out on my channel. But anyways, over here, it says Baryonyx Breakout on the top. Then if you turn it around, you've got this nice little graphic image that shows everything that comes in the set. That's pretty cool. And then over here, there's a window that shows Owen with two compies and a very strange looking device. I guess it's a tracker. I don't know. I gotta just quickly put the tail on and then here is the set out of the box. First, let's take a look at the Owen figure and the motorcycle. Before I start, there's just one thing I wanna clarify first. Okay, so I understand the Baryonyx being a repaint, at that a really good repaint, of the Roar of War Baryonyx from last year. But when your human figures are a perfect replica, uh, replica slash re-release of one of your older figures, it becomes incredibly lazy and weird looking, and this is a missed opportunity to add in a new character. They could have done something like Barry from Jurassic World, or even a character from Fallen Kingdom. And then you have a gray version of the baby Dimorphodon that came with the uh, Mercenary last year, from last year's line, and that's also pretty lazy. And then you have these two compies, if I bring them in over here, they're the exact same as the Jurassic World Legacy Collection compies. As a matter of fact, I can't even tell them apart now. That's gonna make me insane. Also a missed opportunity for a new species. Oh right, the flair that comes with the Baryonyx set is, yet again, the exact same as Ian Malcolm's flair from the Legacy Collection. I mean, come on, they, this is so much missed opportunities here. I'm not gonna waste my time doing a review of the actual Owen figure itself. I mean, it'd pretty much be just a duplicate review of something I've already done, but if anything, the only thing that's different is this, you, these little pads here, they used to have brown on them on the previous release. That's the only difference I've been able to find. The accessory that stands out in this set the most has to be Owen's motorcycle. I love how the front side is poseable, that's perfect for display. And another thing that's cool about this is that the, the headlight is not actually a sticker, it's a piece of plastic that makes it look real. That's super cool. I wish they could have put an LED in there, I understand why they didn't though. Then you've got a Jurassic World logo, and another one, and then motorcycle stuff. Yeah. I like how they put a tail light on it too. Since the tires aren't rubber, they're a hard plastic, I was nervous it wouldn't really run that well on hard surfaces, but it actually does it pretty efficiently. Ow. 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 Wait, no, ah. I forgot to mention another recycled accessory is Owen's knife. However, I'm glad that I got this because I lost the last one. And then you have this iPad tablet looking thing it kind of looks like a microwave with a cord on it and this actually came with claire from the human figure line so i never got a chance to pick her up so it's pretty cool that i have that and then we do have one original accessory although plain still cool owen's helmet i don't understand why it's kind of that greenish color it looks like a halo helmet but i do really like the rifle that came with the set if i'm not mistaking this is original at first i thought it came with the mercenary that comes in with the stitchy moloch and that set but I'm pretty sure this is original, and it is super cool. At last, let's take a look at the Baryonyx. Now, I'm not gonna go over sculpt or um, uh, articulation. It's because I already did that in the other video, and that'd be kind of useless to do it again, but I am gonna go over the paint. First, we'll start with the head. So I really like um, the golden paint on the snout. It's very, it pops a lot, and it looks super cool. It's kind of a print, if you look really closely. You can tell it's been printed on there, not painted but still it's super cool. So you, it maintains the yellow eyes and the surprisingly clean teeth and the flesh tone mouth. 
The last time I checked, a Baryonyx does not use Crest 3D White, so I still don't understand why the teeth are so perfect. And also kind of sucks, but the roof of the mouth is not painted. I don't know why they left that bare. But I do like the kind of milk chocolate color on the whole body. I kind of feel like name them. Come up with a name in the comment section below that has to do with chocolate and dinosaurs. I like the coloration on the back. It's kind of a bluish, purplish, black. I don't know. It's kind of strange looking, but it is super cool. Now, if you turn into the side, this is where the figure kind of disappoints me. It has two decals on the side that are supposed to make it look like battle damage, but they could have easily added something on the side that actually opens up so it looks like dino damage. Kind of like what they did with the Albertosaurus. That would have been so much better. By the way, here's the QR code for the Baryonyx. All of the articulation is the same. It does have the same chomping feature, except it doesn't have the sound. I guess it's kind of good for parents since they'd get annoyed by the constant roaring if children were playing with this. So that wraps up my review of the Jurassic World Battle Damage Ultimate Baryonyx Breakout. Oh yeah, keep the box for this set, because I have a really cool idea for a diorama you could do for this. So you could actually hang this up on your wall and display it in the box. It would look super cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like if you want.